Regensburg in the 1960s, inventiveness is in the air. And in the nearby town of Neutraubling, it's transmuted into entrepreneurial reality. The Hermann Kronseder machine factory with a total production area of 3,000 square meters founded in 1951. Though the very first labeler wasn't built here, but on the kitchen table at home. The firm's corporate philosophy, giving the customer precisely what he wants. Sincere interest, the conviction that each and every problem can be solved. Time to talk, time to listen. The company's founding father, Hermann Kronseder, is a charismatic mixture of can-do professionalism and affable approachability. Two craft qualifications as an electrician and a master mechanic, equally at home in his twin roles of entrepreneur and inventor. He filed 640 patents. 300 of them are still in force today. Always at the customer interface, always on the spot, always hands-on. And the firm had to make money. So as the decade went by, the company grew and grew. By 1960, the payroll had reached almost 130 people, precision down to the tiniest of details. This was a watchword right from the beginning. After all, even back in the 1950s, labelers demanded engineering of maximized precision. What's more, each machine was a unique one-off construction. Demand began to soar. The first successes came with the semi-automatic labelers. Krohn's first rotary machine, the Super, ushered in a new generation of machines, able to label 4,500 bottles an hour and followed by a steady stream of new and different machines. Ever fast, progressively more precise and increasingly affordable. Krohn's won new adherents with packers, unpackers and crate stackers. Nineteen sixty-seven, the Krohn's Universella, a fully automatic labeler, was premiered. Its top speed was six thousand bottles an hour. It's primarily been Krohn's flair for bold innovation that has propelled the company steadily upwards. It went international, for example, in 1961 with the first sales to Japan. And in 1966, the firm's first branch office abroad was inaugurated in the USA.